Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Vanderbilt's been really struggling. The losing streak just seemingly continues to grow, and just when they think they find an answer, somebody changes the question. Can they find the right answer in this one? Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Edwards fields it at the three. And down he goes at the 33. Georgia's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From the 43-yard line, first down. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 18-yard line. First down. Stop behind the line. Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. It's second and 11. Ball on the 19. The 10. And he's taken down around the 8-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Gets to about the five-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. I feel the corner position is really one of the hardest to play. So when I see a young player like this make a play like that, phew, it's impressive. It's second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. Gets it off as he's hit. Completes. Dives forward. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's check out what's going on in Gainesville. The Tigers win it by three. In other games, the Bears came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the Polsters move them down? How about this final? 
totally unexpected, a major upset is now finished. The Cyclones get the win, 31-20. And for Georgia, they just met Missouri a week ago. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Run left and he'll lose yardage. No gain on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. The ball is loose. It's recovered. So the offense is very lucky to keep possession of the ball. I think he was looking upfield and trying to look for some room to run, but he forgot about the football. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Tackles him hard at the 27. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackle at the 43. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 43-yard line. Georgia is up seven. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He makes a catch and has a first down. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have a big impact on a game. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Down he goes, around the 25-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. makes his way out to about the 12. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Nice run to the left there. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up 
second and three. Six-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Georgia up seven points. He's under pressure. And he hits him hard at the 15. Fourth down, they'll line it up for the field goal. Georgia is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Auburn taking the field in the loveliest village on the plane. The Tigers have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. Auburn leads it 7-6. All right, thanks, Reese. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Number 79 makes the set at the 32-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Scrambling around. Fumble. Loose ball. Brought down at the 35. Recovered by the defense. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Boy, they're in a big hole early, and it doesn't look like it's getting any smaller. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 10-0. Bulldog. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Number 21 on the tackle at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. They put everyone up on the line. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. It's really hard to defend the pass with your back to the end zone. But it can also be difficult for an offense because the field tightens up. That was a nice play.
And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 34-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28-yard line. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me? In college football today, with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space, these guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Second and ten. Ball on their own 28. The running back gets two on the carry. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick throw. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Around the 42 yard line. Okay. That brings up second and nine. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. Come on, I'm on. Yeah. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third, and third down again. I got two. I got two. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ah! Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. I like the call here. Looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. And right there, he showed you why. First and ten. Ball on the 27. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. And this is the eighth play of the drive. It up the middle for a nice run. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. They come out in an empty backfield. And he might want it all here and does. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play. But it doesn't always happen. He gets it up, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 17-3, Georgia. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Tackle made at the 22. Matt's been known to be such a great quarterback. But when you sit down with him in person, 
and you look at him, you see that smile, and he just sort of exudes that confidence that you want in a guy that's playing under center. We saw that this week. Absolutely, Brad. I can remember earlier this week when he walked out of our meeting, I looked over at you, and we just kind of kind of nodded our heads in agreement that this kid kind of has that it factor that you look for from quarterbacks. Obviously, he's very talented, but I think he has the confidence that you're speaking of, and I think he just brings the intangibles to the table. And, and so far, how can you not be impressed with everything that he's done? Well, he's had it in the first half so far. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 17. Douglas hits it on the inside. They'll get him for a loss. Got his tailback. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. They'll come up way short on third down. That's just a great stand by the defense on third and long. Shepard is back awaiting the punt. He goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. The Cavalry's coming. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Number 79 on the tackle at the 49-yard line. The Commodores will use their first time out of the half. Two minutes left in the half. at the 40. Makes it to the 37. Give to the running back and he's going to lose yardage. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. brings up an interesting situation. If you have faith in your kicker, then I'd take the three points here. Otherwise, I'd probably just give it to my halfback and let him put his head down and try to get the first. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's a fake. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. Tackle at the 20-yard line. Change of quarterback, Kirby. Got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. Vanderbilt will take their second time out of the half. On the run. And they got him. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. He's out of bounds at the 13 yard line. That brings us fourth and three. So it's fourth down. 
They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and he's got it. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, updating what's going on in Auburn. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Texas A&M, let's keep an eye on this game where a major surprise could be brewing. The Tigers lead 14-6. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the five-yard line, got the corner. And they push him out at the 28. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Douglas gets six yards on the play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He chucks it downfield. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Touchdown, Georgia! Splits the uprights with the extra point. And that's going to do it for the first half. And they're just trying to keep this thing close. 24 to 6, Georgia. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. We got the sense at times that it was a little predictable that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes First and ten, I have to run the football. Mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Down he goes at the 31. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Runs left and quickly taken down. No gain. That'll bring up third and eight. immediately tackled. That makes it first and ten. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 43. They're about 
four yards away here on second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. That'll make it third and one. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Second and five, ball on the 24. Brought down around the 10 yard line. Tenth play of the drive. it out left to the running back. Touchdown! And it ain't over yet. They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Sooners had a spot in the top ten at number seven. And they believe that performance proved the point that they belong. And for Oklahoma, they've won two straight. The Sooners win it 20 to 10. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They go with a run. Nice run there. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's good for the end of yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 40. Jack, Jack, Patriot, Patriot! That's a great tackle. The 33-yard line. That's a loss of seven yards. That brings us down to 14. that quickly incomplete that'll make it fourth down and they're gonna have to punt yeah they just couldn't connect on the pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Thorson is waiting for the snap he gets 
hit out of bounds at the 43. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled in the open field. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. How about that run? Old-fashioned football, definitely. Just give it to the fullback and let him grind it out for the first down. Second down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Tackle made at the 30 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it 39. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up so they're going to go for it here. Strike to his receiver, no good. Big stop by the defense. We're about set to start things up again. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 24-13, Georgia. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Shepard is back deep to return the punt. He's tackled at the 36, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Makes it out to about the 40. Get nice 
yardage on that run. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets out to about the 31. That's a gain of two on the play. Third down. it up the middle for a nice run and they convert the first down on that run yeah, the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the hog mollies first down 10 yards to go ball on the 26 nice run and he's brought down Inside the 10. Touchdown, Commodores. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 25. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Georgia holds a field goal lead. A tackle around the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line, second down. And look out. And he's taken down at the 30. Far put the tackle at the 30 yard line. That'll make it 35. From their own 30 yard line. Third down. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's a That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 42. Complete and he's hit hard. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. 
And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Just over two minutes in the game. complete over the middle and down he goes at the 50 yard line he made the catch but he didn't get the first down yeah right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down Thorson awaits the snap and he just got stood up right there the Commodores battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at about the 21. That's a team of four on the play. That brings up third and 10. Third and long here in the fourth, and this is the biggest third down of the ball game. Here they come. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Vanderbilt's going to have to use their second time out of the half. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Get out, get out, get out. We have less than a minute to go. He airs it out. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. Makes it out to about the seven. A gain of eight on the carry. Vanderbilt will take their last time out. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Makes it out to about the five-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Touchdown, Georgia! It's the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese? The Aggies were ranked 14. Their charge, take care of business. And they did. And for Texas A&M, they've won two straight. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. And they'll try one last pass here to pad the stats, but that's about all they're going to get right here. He chucks it downfield. Almost picked off. So 
so much scoring and so much fun. And finally, it's over. 31-21, Georgia. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.